Welcome to Telisco. This is Navin Reddy. Today we'll talk about a question. Basically, we'll discuss a question here. And the question is, is Java is about to end? And the answer is no. Now, in today's discussion, maybe I will hurt someone's emotion. Maybe people who love Python or C or maybe other languages. The thing is, this, you know, when you talk about a new programmer, let's say you are doing com science or maybe any field in IT, so the first language they will teach you is C and then we'll move towards C++ and then you will learn Java and then there, there are, there's a trend where you learn different languages, right? So we have Python, we have uh, Haskell, we have Scala and these people, they claim that Java is about to end. Now how a language, you know, if you if talk about this world, we have 80% uh, of mobile market is captured by Android and Android is based on Java. Think about the future technologies. When you talk about future technologies, it's all about cloud. So we used to have, a, you know, we used to have those days when we, when we used to work with desktop. So we have desktop in that we have Windows, right? We have Linux, we have Mac. Then we are going for a world of mobile phones. And in future, all these mobile phones and desktop or laptop will be based on cloud. Now think about uh, cloud sector. So if you talk about cloud, now all the cloud servers, all the cloud uh, technologies, they are based on Java. Now you might be knowing about uh, this Hadoop technology, right? Or you can talk about big data. Now if you talk about banks, financial sectors, or healthcare centers, we, they all need tools to work with big data because uh, we are living in an age of information or in sometimes we can say this as information age. So in this age, the most important part is information, right? Of course. So to process those information, we require something called as a big data tool, which is Hadoop and Hadoop is built on Java. So just think about it. We are saying it's about to end and all the future technologies are based on Java. Now I'm not saying Java will be there for the next 50 years, but for the next 10 years, it is there. Okay. So now, if you change, if you check all the indexes where you have the ranking of uh, programming languages, Java is still on top. Ha, if you compare with this year, year 2002, so in year 2002, the market share for Java was 25% and current market share is 15%, but still that 15% matters because in the last 10 years, we have lots of languages like we, they're, they're, we, are, we are coming with Haskell, then we have Scala. So we have lots of language to compete with. Right? But Java still holds a command. Now there are some people they will claim Java is very you know bulky. When, when you can work with Python, it is easy to learn. But hold on. When you run a Java code for to print hello world, Java code run faster than the Python code. Again, this is this is uh, you know this is proved by some programmers. You can also do that. You can you, know, you can uh, you can monitor your performance by using some tools. But if you check for hello world, of course Java will be faster. Huh, when it when it comes to file handling, you know to handle a file in Java, you have to write around uh, twelve lines of code. To handle a file in Python, you have to write only two lines of code. Yeah, that's the advantage of using Python, right? But if you talk about the enterprise level softwares, let's say, let's talk about you're creating a software for. Uh, maybe banking sector. So for that, they need a big software, maybe enterprise level software. And all this enterprise level software, they use Java because it is stable, it is robust, and it can handle multiple transactions, right? Now, if you talk about the core part of Java, when you say core Java, so we, we don't have a much updation in core Java, except that functional programming where you have in Java 8. But if you talk about the advanced framework, so in Java, we have Hibernate, we have Spring, now also about Hadoop. So all these are based on Java. So we have a you know, very good future for Java. So I hope you know, this, this video will clear your doubts about what, why, why to choose Java. You, know, you will be having some question, why to choose Java and why not to choose Java, why to go for other languages. So I'm not saying don't learn Python. I'm not saying don't learn Django. I'm just saying, Java is there, okay? It will be there for next 10 to 15 years. So that is from this video. If you, if you still have any problem, you can just comment it so that we can make a new video where you can discuss all these problems. So thank you for watching.